I um, am specific with my pillows. I only like one pillow. That's just my preference because um, I kind of move uh, their head a little bit on the pillow. I initially started off with the table at about mid shin, um, but as I've kind of evolved, I've been playing around with more kind of like a mid thigh. And so, you know, it, it play around with it. Why I really like learning down here is because growing up I played sports and this was the position I was in. And so I felt like my quick twitch fibers, if you will, were a little bit more locked in. Um, now I've been a little more confident with it. I keep it a little higher and I still incorporate my body with it. And so, um, you know, uh, targeting C1, C2, right, if you've already identified like the area, um, if they've got issues with rotation, C1, C2 is gonna be where I really go after because the most amount of rotation happens at C1, C2. Um, and so what I like to do is pull the pillow out so that their shoulders aren't putting any body weight on it because you'll see I'll move it just a little bit. So, um, you know, you can talk about your like pre-assessment just like we've done before, right? Um, what I like to do is kind of just feel over the lateral column and just say, hey, P, has, Pilar, how's that feel? Mm -hmm. Does that feel okay, right? And I'll do the same thing. And then if someone's like, oh, that sucks, like I've got a headache from that, or oh, that's just like really tight and tender, then you know that might be the area I go after. I tend to do bilateral. Um, I know uh, some people have had success, I know Michael does it, where if they're just so tense, you can start with just like a soft tissue mobilization, or you're just kind of doing some soft tissue work, you can do some like your release or whatever it is and um, like the key with it is if they're not confident in you if um, they're tense and kind of like you see most people who are in pain just kind of tighten up um, you have to be quick because their muscles will contract and you won't get it and um, if you play around with Bill because Bill will potentially let you pin up his neck he's a guy who's just got a tight neck and, and you can feel the tone and if you're not quick and it's not going to go. So uh, what I like to do, I like to start off with just the head, just then a little bit of flexion. Um, not much, and I literally just do that by lifting the table up just a little bit here. Um, and then I'm going to pre-position them in about 30 or so degrees of rotation. So that's one of my vectors. i got two vectors, right? A little bit of flexion. I've got a little bit of rotation. And then I'll take my hands, and then I uh, have success with that up glide, if you will. So, you know, that's kind of the direction I go. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this applicator, I'm going to put it right on the occiput, and I'm going to just drop down right on the C1. Okay. Drop down, thumb, zygomatic arch, I'm going to chicken wing my arm because that's going to help me with the direction that I'm manipulating. Okay. So I drop down, I'm in a little rotation, drop down, Thumb on zygomatic arch. This is stabilizing the occiput. I've got my feet pointed towards Rick, roughly like at a 45 degree angle. And this is where I incorporate my body. So to add my vectors, I let it come from my body. I don't just get handy with it if you've got little feeble arms. That's okay. And that's where uh, one of the better manipulators I've worked with to really optimize her body mechanics. So again, right, I'm in a little bit of flexion pre-position and a little bit of rotation. I'm going to stabilize uh, the occiput, coffee arrived, um, stabilize the occiput with my right hand if I'm going to the uh, right. I'm going to take um, this portion of my finger, my DAP, and I'm going to come right off the occiput, right onto C1. My feet point towards Rick. Elbow flares out like a chicken wing. I'm going to do my little butt wiggle like I'm a puppy. And that adds my side bend lever. I'm going to shift over into my right foot that adds, adds my side glide. From here, I'm going to PA. It's kind of like spinning a ball. And then once I find the lever, I go. Okay? So I'll set that up again. She's already pre positioned in a little flexion. I'm going to rotate about 30 degrees. I'm going to take my finger, come right off the occiput thumb on zygomatic arch, chicken wing out, feet pointed to Rick, get my hips moving, so I'm already flexed, side bend, side glide, I spin the ball, PA, and then I go up this way, okay, and then try to be quick. 
my preference and what I'm faster at is going this way. Just, it's just how my body is. So when I practice, I try to get good at this one, but I'm just a little off a little bit. So um, that's the setup. That's what I utilize. Pilar, how did it feel? Great. Great. You can be honest. You can give the feedback. Um, so same thing, right? Um, again, this is the side I'm fast on. Applicator, come right off that occiput. Thumb right off the zygomatic arch. Chicken wing out. My feet are now pointed towards Michael. I've already got my rotation, my flexion. I'm going to add my side bend, my chicken wing, side shift. If I do my ankle dorsiflexion over my left foot, I'm going to spin the ball. This one for sure can mm -hmm. go. So, yeah. yeah. It's pretty, like, pretty quick. You don't do it right. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I'll save that one for you guys um, to manipulate.